is rise and fall. We haven't won the league since 1967. The season before, I think we should have won it. Leeds won it. And one day I was sitting in my office and the phone rang and it was the chief exec of Leeds United. I said, would you be willing to sell Eric Cantona? Because I'd actually read in the newspapers that Wilkinson and Eric, there were problems and the clashes and all the rest of it. I haven't had a problem in my football career up to now with any player I've worked with. He reads poetry, he reads philosophy, he paints, maybe that's different. He said, well, what do you want to pay for him? I said, a million. So then he said, no, no, 1.5. No, no, a million. And eventually, I yeah, got him down to the million. Can we say it's 1.2? Because we'll get slaughtered this end. The supporters think the world of him. I said, you say what you like. Football and Manchester United have signed the French international striker Eric Cantona from Leeds United for a fee of 1.2 million pounds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're pleased to announce that um, we've agreed terms with uh, Leeds United for the transfer of uh, Eric Cantona, and he's agreed a new three and a half year contract. The stage is mine. All eyes on me. Leeds fans probably today won't agree with me, but I think it's a very shrewd sale. Wilkinson's done wonders for that team. If he thought it was right for him to get rid of Eric Cantona, he's made the right decision. Eric Cantona is 26, and he's already had eight clubs. What does that tell us? Cantona doesn't fit the bill. The only thing I recall is seeing it on the news um, that he'd signed. In them days, it wasn't like rumours and social media. You just, basically, you were last to know, the players. And then I remember my mates going, what's this? Cantona, like. 